We all dream of a green and prosperous world where sustainable energy, cycling and smart transport, clean air, energy efficient buildings and healthy food are part of our daily lives, where our forests thrive and land and water resources are well managed. To achieve this vision, some of the most urgent challenges facing countries worldwide today are how to boost prosperity and human well-being, increase access to energy, and improve food security and air quality while also combating climate change. The current model for producing food speaks for itself. It uses 70% of the world's fresh water while contributing to 70% of biodiversity loss, whereas sustainable agriculture brings environmental, social, and economic advantages. Our economic paradigm has to change and is changing. Leaders from the region are convinced about the need to speed up the transition to green and inclusive economies. Today, we call on them to walk the talk and help those changes happen on the ground. They know a different way is possible and they are undertaking efforts to green their economies. Listen. We announced five initiatives. One is RefNet.ch, the National Resource Efficiency Network for Enterprises. It helps them to be more resource efficient and innovative. It helps them to reduce their costs. Another one is phosphorus recovery. Switzerland is the first country to introduce regulation to recover phosphorus from waste and wastewater. Республика Беларусь выражает готовность к выполнению добровольных обязательств направленных на создание и развитие инфраструктуры экологически чистого общественного транспорта, правовых основ поведения органического сельского хозяйства, экологической сертификации системы управления окружающей средой, экологических стандартов и маркировки. Беларусь разрабатывает национальный план действий по внедрению принципов зеленой экономики. In Italia noi abbiamo sviluppato molto le energie rinnovabili, siamo fra i migliori in Europa e fra i migliori al mondo. Continueremo a investire su queste. Eh, abbiamo raggiunto elevati standard di efficientamento energetico, sia negli edifici pubblici che privati, e oggi li implementiamo ancora di più con sconti fiscali e incentivi, e incentivi pubblici. A Fölnösügyi Minisztérium, amely a környezetvédelemért is felelős, évek óta dolgozik azon, hogy erősödjön a helyi termelés, a helyi gazdaság szereplői minél több értékesítési lehetőséghez, piaszítási lehetőséghez jussanak. Ez hasznos a vidék népesség megtartó ereje szempontjából, hiszen így munkahelyek létesülnek, friss, egészséges élelmiszer kerül az asztalokra, és a közvetlen kapcsolat is megmarad a termelők és a fogyasztók között, így a környezet terhelés, a úthálózat igénybevétele is mérséklődik. By 2018, biodiversity and ecosystem services are to be integrated in all relevant decision, decisions in society. The initiatives include producing a guide for valuation of ecosystem services, a public inquiry to develop the ecological compensation measures, and ecosystem services in policy for corporate social responsibility, innovation and public procurement. We hope that the long-term effect will secure the capacity of ecosystems and provide incentives for sustainable management of biological diversity. Thank you. Batumis initiative is an economic Bunebrivia, Helsheuts, Ops region, she, sorry politics, Gansas Ras, Gradigan Tarabisatis. Sakatolo Tarabisatis, other economica, Aris, Kerlis Gan Tarabis, Air Thirty, Zirita the instrument. Gasako Trevit Nistolovania, Ecosystem Abyss, Service Abyss, Subtats Arme Abyss, Sone Samsha, what Gilebis Shekrisada, Garemus Tatsuiti, Ganatlebis, Helshetova, Sonexa, Cheni Archevania, Momavali Taubevisatis. The strategic framework for greening the economy equips countries in the pan-European region with a common vision and objectives to get national policies right, facilitate exchange of good practices, and advance cooperation for the successful transition to a green economy, as well as support the achievement of the goals and targets of Agenda 2030. It is complemented by the Batumi Initiative on Green Economy, the Big E, made up of country commitments for concrete actions towards the green transformation. The world is running out of resources. We cannot continue with the existing economic model. 
The United Nations Environment Programme is very pleased to see so many concrete pledges coming directly from ministers to make the green economy transition a reality for the region and for our children. We will continue helping governments on that road. Join us in supporting the strategic framework and the Big E. We must think big to shift to a green and inclusive economy. We need leadership and a strong alliance with all stakeholders. UNECE will do our best to support countries, civil society, companies and citizens to implement the Big E.